From the heart of Philly, this is CBS News Philadelphia. And today, a local DA was at a I've seen a lot of horrible and even horrific um, homicides, evil homicides, in my nearly 30 years of doing this um, as a prosecutor. Um, and suffice it to say, I am uh, I'm struggling with this one. Rachel King, a beloved teacher and mother, shot to death in front of her son in a Duncan drive through Authorities say the shooter was a hitman hired by a romantic rival. This is your News at 5, and we continue to stream live on CBSPhiladelphia.com. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Cartalia. It has been nearly two weeks to the day that Rachel King was killed. Her murder shocked the students she taught and the community where she lived. The Montgomery County DA announced today he is personally prosecuting this case. Nikki Dementri was there as the DA announced two people are now facing charges, and her parents vowed that they will be there every step of this case. It was a cold-blooded killing, a targeted murder of an innocent person. Montgomery County prosecutors say 34-year-old Julie Jean and 33-year-old Zaki Stephen Alakim are behind the shooting death of Rachel King. The 35-year-old mother and teacher was killed at a Cheltenham Duncan on April 11th while sitting in the front seat of her car, her son in the back seat. We got a road to justice ahead of us, and, uh, and uh, he's a part of it, and, and that's going to be difficult. King's parents spoke briefly at a Wednesday press conference in Norristown, thanking prosecutors, detectives, and the community for their persistence and support. Our hearts are hurting, but we also believe this in time they will be healed and we will move forward with our grandson, Jalen. Montgomery County District Attorney Kevin Steele says Jean and Allah Keem didn't know King. At one point, Steele says Jean had an affair with King's boyfriend and began harassing the two after King's boyfriend ended it. Allah Keem, prosecutors say, is related to the father of Jean's children. We want justice done. We want it done swiftly. We want it done accurately. And we want it done fairly. Prosecutors say evidence, including this map showing King's home saved to Al Akim's phone, is part of the planning by the two since February. Another piece includes the silver mercury sable seen leaving the Duncan. Steele says was purchased by the two and in Jean's name. That car was also seen at another murder scene in Philadelphia four days before King's death. Al Akim is facing murder charges in both cases. As a family of believers in Christ Jesus, we believe. That vengeance does belong to God. Steele adds the National Integrated Ballistic Information Network machine matched casings recovered at both the Philadelphia and Cheltenham scenes to the same weapon. Although not recovered, Steele says the ghost gun matches this photo found on Al Akim's phone. I've seen a lot of horrible and even horrific um, homicides, evil homicides, in my nearly 30 years of doing this um, as a prosecutor. Um, and Suffice it to say, I am uh, I'm struggling with this one. Both Jean and Al Akim are behind bars. Jean is here in Montgomery County, where she was arraigned. Al Akim is being held in Philadelphia. His arraignment is Thursday in Norristown. Nikki Dementri, CBS News, Philadelphia.